my name is Olivia. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Makeup Fun with Olivia. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting me and joining me for my schwa unboxing. I love schwa. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you, I'm doing this unboxing in collaboration with my friend Michelle from Kansas Girl 1969. The link to her channel and to her schwa unboxing will be down below. So please make sure to go check her out. She's so fun to watch. She's super sweet and beautiful, <laughs> both inside and out. So please go check her out. Now, for those of you that don't know what schwa is, it's a beauty subscription for $20 a month. You get to choose five luxury samples. You go to their website um, and you choose five luxury samples and they send it to you so that you can try them out. So I know you can go to Sephora or you can go to the department store and get these free samples, but honestly, I'm not out to Sephora a whole lot. I do most of my shopping online. I don't have very much time to go and just try things out and get free samples. So I love this subscription because they send it to me to my doorstep and I get to try them this way. And so, um, yeah, love it. So every month they send you a little email and they give you about a week, I think, to go check or to go choose your, your samples, and then they send it to you. If you don't choose, then they'll surprise you with something. But of course, we always want to choose, right? <laughs> At least I do. Anyway, so let's jump in so I can share with you. This is how it comes. It's these two items here, this little box. Now these items, they send to you little applicators and brushes just in case you don't have your own brushes um, or you need applicators to test your samples out. I think that's a really nice touch. I never actually use them, but it's really nice that they put it in there. The samples are actually in this little box, so let's take off the little sleeve. And they always have a customized um, kind of printed sheet in there of what you ordered. So that's always nice because, you know, a week or two later, I've forgotten what I ordered or what I chose and so it's nice to refer back to this. And then the samples are in here. Here they are. So let's take a look at them. Okay, what does my little box say? The first one is the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Frenzy. So that would be this one. And it's kind of on there with like this sticky glue kind of. and. See if I can open this puppy. And it even the little pan, you can take out the little pan um, or you can leave it in. But if you take it out, you kind of have to take off the cover. So that's what that one looks like. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Again, this is in the color Frenzy. I've never tried this before, so oops. Let's see with the lighting. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a peachy and a gold combo. That's what it looks like. Nice and subtle and kind of not, I don't want to say darker, but it's not like a bright blush. It's a very subtle, kind of muted, but peachy look. So that looks really pretty. So I get, and it does, it looks, yeah, it's definitely peachy orangey maybe? Can you see that? Let me put it this way. So that looks pretty. Looking forward to trying that. The next one is the Lancome Le Crayon Cole in Black Lapis. So that's probably this pencil here. And I heard about this um, crayon pencil. Who was it? Oh my god! If you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but I can't remember who said this was awesome and I thought I'd give it a try. Um, so Black Lapis is kind of like a, it looks like a dark teal. Um, or did I see a review? Maybe it was a review where they were talking about these yeah, I think it was a review I saw and they said these have big stain power. So, and because, you know, I, I perspire a lot. I know, sorry, gross, but I need either waterproof or long lasting products for my face without drying me out. Um, a lot of the long stain stuff is, you know, dries you out. So I need that perfect balance, right? That it doesn't dry me out. So we'll see how this goes, but the color looks really pretty. And I thought it'd be nice to try like just 
something a little bit different because I always have black, always black. Um, so yeah. Okay, the third one is Benefit and Hello Flawless Foundation in Liquid Honey. So that would be this foundation here. And if you saw my last um, my last Schwa subscription, the color was way, way dark. Uh, by the way, I never got to try it and do a get ready with me. Michelle and I usually do a get ready with me that we love to do together. And she did hers. I didn't do mine because I got so sick. So I do apologize for that, that we didn't do it. Well, she did it. Um, I told her, keep yours up. You know, I didn't want her to bring her down, but she's so sweet. She brought hers down and I, <laughs> you know, I feel horrible. But anyways, um, so hopefully this month we can do a get ready with me with the right shade. Now let's see if, if you guys remember it, the little pump didn't work last time. Let's see if it works this time. It worked this time, yay! So it must have been that pump. Maybe it was just, you know, the guy upstairs trying to tell me don't use that when it's too dark for you. <laughs> so, nice. Kind of feels like my Too Faced Born this way. Like kind of liquidy but not runny. But a lot came out. <laughs> I need to wipe this off. Okay, so let's leave the rest on there. The next one, I'm looking forward to trying that. That looks like it has coverage. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, the next one is YSL Full Metal Shadow in Gray Splash. That would be this one here. Let's swatch this one. It's in these little containers, if you can see that. Look at how pretty that looks. it looks like it's way down there so it looks kind of creamy powdery can you see that that's pretty that looks nice for the lid lately I'm into my grays I don't it, I don't know why but I'm just like gray 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 no, I'm not wearing gray today today I'm wearing the chocolate bonbon <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm into grays lately, so that looks pretty. Looking forward to trying that. And then the last one is the Dior Addict Lip Gloss in Signe Noir. Just this one here. And so it looks like a like a rose gold with micro glitters, maybe. I can't remember anymore but let's swatch it put it this way you know what it looks like a very sheer I'm gonna put a little bit more a very sheer lip gloss and it even though it has that micro glitter it looks like a multicolor micro glitter but you can't see the micro glitter from far. It just looks shimmery. So that'll be interesting to try. And it doesn't feel sticky. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying those. So that is it for my schwa unboxing. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I love to hear back from you guys. And don't forget to go check Michelle's unboxing to see what goodies, what samples she chose. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye! Oh, almost forgot. I said I was going to try to do this and I almost forgot. I wanted to let you know what lipstick I'm wearing because I do get asked. So today I'm wearing um, the Maybelline in Orchid Ecstasy. It comes in one of these and this is what it looks like. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And the lip liner I'm wearing with it is Fashion Boost from MAC. This one right here. Oh, it kind of matches. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I was just in the mood for this color, but anyway, <laughs>